Okay, Google. Start the vacuum. All right, starting the debug. Hi guys, this is Joe from Techilobang. I have with me here the Ecobex Robotics. Um, D-Bot Os Osmo Slim 11. It is a vacuum and mopping robot. Without further ado, let me do a simple unboxing. This is the package. It has a very thick manual, which I don't need it, I think. So I open it. This is the robot, a very slim and I should say very very thin robot. And these are the accessories I think. This is the mop and a series of accessories that you need to install into the robot for it to I mean these are the brushes, the brushes for the robot. Okay, this is the charging unit. 3 pin plug. I believe it's uh, also the docking unit whereby it will go back to dock by itself. Packaging is a, re a little bit difficult to take out and to put in but anyway, I'm not going to put in anymore On the package itself, you have this main robot The mod Accessories Docking Brushes More brushes and finally the manuals. So that's it for the unboxing. Okay, let's see what you can do with this robot. Um, I need to prepare it before I can use it. Without looking at manuals, let me try. Okay. Uh, this is supposed to take out because it's like protecting the. I think there's a bumper sensor which is usual for this kind of robot whereby you detect the bump. And based on this slip, it seems like there's a switch on and off underneath it. So I'm going to open up. Yes, there's a on and off switch underneath it. I'll do it later. Okay, when you turn it back, these two wheels, super spingy wheel. And some sensors. And I believe these are the two points where I need to fix up the brush. These are the brush. It's color coded so you won't get it wrong. Green, green, the green. Okay, back there more because I still can't get it in, although it seems to be simple. Okay, green to green, red to red. And if I turn it to the front again, there's a latch here. I believe this is where you store the water for the mopping. This is my first time using a, um, a robot that has mopping feature. I'm very looking forward to use it because it's totally new to me. So I'll be topping up this with water. And then attaching it to the back of this. Let me show you how to attach. I think I know how. Without looking at the manual again. Two holes over here. Two holes over here. And 
that is it. So a robot that can clean and can mop at the same time. And this is the suction unit whereby all the rubbish will be stored inside. Let me turn back again and show you. Okay, so this should be the compartment whereby you can throw away your things, dirty things. And a filter unit here. Looks like a filter unit here. Give you a small little brush, maybe for you to use it. Um, a slightly more in-depth view on this uh, cartridge whereby you store all the dust inside. Uh, there's a latch here. Just pull it and you open up. Throw away all the rubbish. And over here, this, as I mentioned, this is a filter, so you can open up. this and this should be the filter membrane whereby I guess you can wash it and reuse it and you can also rinse it with water if I'm not wrong and it is quite easy to put back everything if you know how to use it so just place it back to the original condition And place it back to this pot here. And let me turn it on. Remember this box? Um, I mentioned that I do not know what is inside. Finally, I figured out. Okay, it's no brainer at all. This is a control unit. This is a filter membrane, and this is, I believe, is the mop. That's from mop. So let me take out everything. Remote controller it comes with battery. Next, open this out. You can see that it has a filter membrane, a filter, and this little black thing is uh, actually for the cartridge also. And finally, this cloth is actually for the mopping uh, usage. Okay, let me show you where it is. So remember this. Um, I realized that you can actually tear it out. It's a Velcro kind of uh, attachment whereby you just need to stick to it and then uh, once you finish popping it or, or something like that you can actually wash it off or wash it or you want to replace it you can use the extra one that is given to replace it that's it this robot comes with an app so I'm going to download the app you go to eco bags home Okay, download this app and supposedly you're able to control your robot using this app if you don't want to use this controller to control it and also I believe it can uh, be connected to the Google Home and you can use Google Home to control it too so I'm, I'm looking forward to try out the Google Home because I have been using Google Home every day so this might be a better way for me to have a clean home I'm trying to set up the robot uh, right now in this page I am asked to add a robot so I've just turned on this robot and I think the Wi-Fi signal is turning on so I just add a robot I run through these uh, models it seems like I can only choose Slim 10 series because you can see that um, Slim 10 and Slim 11 
or slim 15 are all in the same area so I'll just choose slim okay I must connect to my Wi-Fi which I cannot allow you to see my password okay now I have just uh, connect it to my to my uh, home network I'm asked to open up the box I wish I've already done so next press the reset button okay one second reset button okay I've heard the beat default to your phone to my phone done Okay, Google, start the vacuum. All right, starting the diva. Okay, Google, stop the vacuum. Okay, Google, charge the vacuum. <laughs> 